Welcome, beautiful people, to Teaching Tarot. My name is Mache. Today, we are talking about the Ace of Swords. Um, before we dive into the meaning, I do want to talk about the suit of the sword, since this is the first, the first swords that we've been talking about. So the swords talks about, for me, intellect and intuition. Now, I know that the uh, suit of cups talks about intuition and emotions and following your gut. Um, but for me, also the swords, air signs, for me, I, I, I read swords as air signs. And I believe that air signs are very intuitive. It's like intuition with practicality or intuition plus knowledge. They, they have a beautiful way of doing both, right? Of saying, yes, I know because I read something and I know because something just clicked, right? And that's what this card is speaking to me about. It's, uh, it's uh, an aha moment. It's a divine connection where that's a revelation, right? Where you're like, Mm, I'm coming to know something. And then there's this sort of resonance in your body where you're like, this is true, right? So the Ace of Swords is an aha moment for me. That's how I read this card. Um, as a person, if this comes up when you're saying, uh, if you're speaking about someone and they come up as the Ace of Swords, this is someone who might be in a position to follow their first mind. Um, this is someone who acts and thinks quickly. Um, someone who is quick with their words, especially if it comes up with the Knight of Swords, right? Or uh, a, a, a wand energy, fire energy. Um, before I get into, I was about to get into the symbolism, let me roll it back. So yeah, as a person, this is someone, ooh, and um, I'm noticing here, there's a math equation here as well. So they're just good at putting things together giving me page of swords energy as well. Okay. As an action, um, this card is asking you, mm, right. I, I'm just feeling this sort of snapping energy, right? It's this slow unfolding things just coming together from different modalities. Um, so if, if this is coming out as a, as a, how do I, with the advice, right? If the advice is Ace of Swords, the advice is to take what you know and um, pull on things from different modalities, other skill sets. If you used to study architecture and now you're a doctor, pull on that architecture stuff and maybe you can come up with a new solution from these other modalities. I hope that makes sense. Um, as a situation, the Ace of Swords, The situation might call for you to um, speak quickly, right? Your time might be limited. So you might need to be able to articulate yourself well. Think quickly, right? Again, intellect is the swords. For me, the intellect plus the tongue, because sometimes the swords, and I did bring out another one, this swords card in the Spellcaster's Tarot speaks to me about a fiery, a, a quick tongue. In this, in this deck, the swords are fire energy but I don't mind because I also think the air signs are also very quick. Air and fire understand each other. Am I right? Right. They understand each other. They move very fast. They can move without restriction. If you let them go, they will, right. The impact is very great um, because there is no container when there is no container, right. For air and water, for air and fire. Okay. When those two get together, right? So this is air and fire energy for me, a sharp tongue, a witty tongue, right? This person might also be witty. Um, now let it, let's get into the symbolism. In particular, the light seers tarot, the swords are always accompanied by these ravens, I believe, which I love. And I'm not really familiar with raven energy, except the fact that they do follow shamans. Um, and so, and there's their, their black color just speaks to truths and mysticism, dark truths, things you don't want to say, things that don't want to be spoken about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things that don't want to be spoken about, things that are trying to remain unseen, but the fact is that they need to be brought into the light. Okay, spirit, acting up. Okay, um, and so this, this Ace of Swords might be shedding a light on something, right? The sword of truth right? The sword coming in, right? 
the swift sword, the queen of swords also talks about like cutting people out of your life, right? That that's often the thing with the queen of swords, right? Cause that sword is cutting through the bullshit, right? That sword is cutting into the truth. The sword is cutting into the darkness to bring about the light, right? And then um, in the reverse, the ace of swords in the reverse, Uh, mental regression, right? So going back to old ways of think thinking that we're not um, productive, right? And the sort of reversal of this is regressing, regressing back deep into the self in a bad way. I don't know why I'm reading this like this because now it's getting giving hermit energy, but it's like regressing back into the self in this sort of separation, right? Isolation that creates separation instead of union and harmony and saying, oh, wow, I am a part of the whole. For me, for some reason, this is, and again, follow your feelings, right? This, this is feeling to me like a regression into the self, this sort of overthinking, anxiety, and this uh, mental split. That's what it thank you is this mental split right so right. it might but there is also something very beautiful in that it's this sort of interesting mirror or these interesting other characters that the mind is able to create right um so depending on what this card is accompanied by you know what let's play with that for a little bit reverse ace of swords with mm -hmm, beautiful ten of wands which talks to us about releasing baggage, about um, letting go of projects that no longer serve us, um, right? She's packed up all of what she needs and she's letting go of the rest. So paired with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, this mental split, um, there might be a sort of cosmic breaking right this sort of big bang of the mind where you know, what needs to be let go of so that we can come back together and that's what the ten of wands is speaking to us about what do i need to let go of so that i can come back together so that i can be in a passion field life in a sensual field life in a life that is governed by what i want to do and not what i should be doing okay anyway little tangent all right, um, the Ace of Swords in reverse, anything else? Um, I think I spoke about already and I wanna show you guys the Ace of Swords in the Afro Goddess Tarot. Um, I really love this because this sword is, is accompanied by clear quartz. And like I said, that intellect, right? That sort of intellect, but intuitive intellect. Yeah, this sort of resonance, right? I'm feeling like, like faith, resonance god i know this to be true i can feel it in my body and i know it in my mind right i can feel it i can feel this knowing in my body and i know it in my mind like i could also just explain this truth to you but more than but also i can feel this resonance in my body so this also speaks to me um i like that this sword is above a few above the city because it talks about cutting through the noise okay that's also the ace of swords all right so that's the ace of swords beautiful people i hope you received something beautiful today from this teaching tarot episode um please let me know what happens for you when this card comes up what feelings come up? Um, does it come up often when you are in the beginning of a new idea or do you often get ace of wands? Talk to me about it in the comments and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>